Hi, this is Zhang saying today I would like to share how to define that dot in SBAS and how to construct bar and pie charts for this data. This is talking about qualitative data. Okay, let's say these are the data that collected. So what we have to do here is we go to variable field. Okay, so under the name here, we can type the names that we want. Since it's talking about the colors of car, then we can type the car's colors. We have to bear in mind that for this name, we cannot put any space here. Because if let's say we put a space, it will result an error. So maybe we can put underscore or we just ignore the space. Then for the type, it will by default it will be numerate. But this is all about like this. So what we have to do we just turn to a string. And then these characters here stand for the maximum number of letters that we have for each data set. So since we have only one letter and this is by default A, which is more than one, so we just ignore. If let's say we have more than that, then we have to change here. Okay, the width is the characters here. Okay, that symbol of course is zero because this is all about letter. Then for the labels, we can label the name. Okay, we can label as colors of cars or anything else. Okay, then for the values, we can define here. If let's say we want B to be black, then B, then label as black. Then after that, we just add. Then it will show here. And any missing value, okay, none, we don't have any missing value, so we just ignore. Then the column size, the column size here refer to the data view, the column size here. Okay, then for the measure, if let's say this is talking about ranking is important, then we just change to ordinal. But for this, this is all about color, so it means that ranking is not important so we just click it as nominal then we back to data view okay for this data view we can either copy the data set that we have and paste here or we just enter one by one now let's just spill our bar chart we go to analyze look for discrete statistic click frequencies then we just drag in the variable or press the button, then click for charts, then we select bar charts, then continue. Then press for OK, then the bar chart is built. So for this bar chart, as we can see under the frequency table here, all the letters turn to the names that we defined just now. Okay, since we already defined them, the frequency table will show the names instead of the letters. So let's say we want to change the decimal places to the design mode. So what we have to do here, we just double click. Then we select, then right click, look for cell properties. Then we look for format value. We can change to the number of decimals that we want. If let's say we want to have two decimal places, then we just increase to two, then OK. Then we we'll turn to two. If let's say we want to amend the chart or change the display then we double click okay let's say we want to change the title we just click okay after that we can change okay maybe we can change to bar chart of the colors of 100 cars okay after that let's say we want to change the color of the bar so what we have to do is just double click. Okay, so look for fill and border. We can change accordingly. So all turn to blue. The last thing we want to change one by one, then we just select a particular bar, then we change, then apply. Then it will turn one by one. So for the background also look for, we click the background, then look for fill and border, then we change accordingly. So let's say we want to display all the frequency on top of this bar. So what we have to do is select the bar, then we we'll click for elements, then show data labels. Then the frequency are displayed. So if let's say we want to have all the frequencies, 
display on top of the bar and we just click for custom then we choose on top then apply then bottom apply and so on okay so let's say we want to change the sequence of the bar according to what given here means that yellow should place after black then what we have to do here is we select the bars then look for yellow then we upgrade to after black then we apply then we shift to the second then for white we just upgrade then we shift to the third and so on okay then we close then the bar charts that we want is displayed if let's say we don't want to use this method we can go to graph look for legacy dialog then look for bar then we can click for simple then define then we just input okay we can just input then select end of cases then press for ok then the bar chart also can be built however this one is without title so what we have to do here is we just add a title here okay insert a title so a title is inserted then we just type whatever we want so let's say we don't want to use this method we also can use chart builder then press for ok then look for bar then we drag in the bar so for the NSA we just place in the variable then for the y asset make sure it's count or if let's say we want other statistics then we just choose accordingly then okay then the chart also can be built now let's just try for pie chart we can go to analyze then click for descriptive statistics frequency then chart we just select pie charts if let's say we want percentage then we just select percentage then continue then okay so the pie chart is already built here so if let's say we want to change the colors we can double click so we can select okay if let's say we want to change a particular then we just select a particular sector and we just change then apply so let's say we want to display all the counts here or all the percentages here so make sure all selected at the same time so we just click and this place that we want then we select back then all selected then element show that the labels then all shown here so let's say we want to have outside then we just click for custom then outside then apply then outside then close and let's say we don't want this method we can also apply graphs then the legacy dialog the pipe okay then define then we just drag in okay percentage or number of cases also can then okay then the pipe also can be built and let's say the one then we can also use chart builder okay we just reset then look for pipe then drag in then we place then count okay or maybe we change to percentage then apply and here turn to percentage then okay then also can be displayed okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like it see you